Windows down, gotta stop pollution. What is up guys? Hope everyone's having a great day. So, as you saw earlier in the vlog, I mean, it was raining pretty hard outside. It was pretty bad out there, but now as you can see, it is super bright outside. Sun is out. For the new viewers of the channel, this is my 2013 Chevrolet Silverado 1500 and it is lifted. It is not to be mistaken with a 2500. I did take everything off the side, so it does look like a work truck and it is higher frame is exposed a little bit more. But no, this is actually a 1500 truck. So believe it or not, I've probably had this, I'm rolling on four years now. I'm not really sure where that is, but I think the average amount of years that people upgrade their truck or car, or whatever they have, is usually around four years. So you may be asking, am I going to upgrade this truck? Am I gonna start over again and get something else and trade this one in? Basically the question is, am I gonna trade this one in? Actually, let me think about it. So if I were to upgrade this truck, so let's say a 2019, a 2020 Silverado, I would get the 3.0 liter Duramax inline six because you gotta remember the Cummins inline six, best engine ever made, man, will last forever, a million miles, no problem. It all has the longest overhaul life. So I think it's what, 350,000 miles or 400,000 before you have to actually do any major engine repair. And it also would be nice to have that brand new, fresh body style that they came out with. I mean, it would have to grow on me. It's, it's, uh, it's pretty square in the rear, the front doesn't look as square. It doesn't look like a Chevy anymore. And the number one thing is that the 2019s don't have square wheel wells, which Chevy has had that for over 40 years. So whenever I first took delivery of this truck, it was sitting on the front lot. You know, the advertising, all the trucks in the front, a lot of dealerships do that. The most prized possession has got to be the truck. Why am I not upgrading this truck? Why am I have no plans to upgrade this truck? And I'm going to try to keep it until however many miles until it's completely done and then I park it in my backyard and then let the weeds grow in and everything just whatever happens happens. That of course unless I have a place to park it like a barn or something where I could just keep it like this. I cannot upgrade this truck get rid of it or whatever or let go of the truck is that it's just it's my first truck man and you guys with a first truck would understand. So I've said it before and I'll say it again I mean if you guys have your first truck or had a truck for a very long time, you realize that you just can't get rid of that truck. You just think about it. Maybe you think about it for like a split second, you realize, you know, I'm never gonna get rid of that truck. So I really hope that nothing ever happens to where I have to ever get rid of this truck. I mean, I really like it a lot and I wanna continue the build and continue the mods and really goes to like 500,000 miles. And I, I do actually take care of it a lot as well. See, a lot of people just do the oil change. Some people don't even do maintenance at all. But I'm saying that at 50,000 miles, I did do all the recommended stuff. Let's, what is it? Transfer case, transmission fluid filters, diff fluid on front and rear. So I always take care of all the maintenance and I always make sure I do my oil changes on time because I mean, you could just, you could, you could drive it easy, as easy as I drive my truck. But then if you don't do maintenance, you could still run into a lot of issues down the road. So make sure you keep up with maintenance. 